Hello everyone, welcome to my first tutorial on this channel. This is a tutorial on how to create highlights like these, which makes the art much more attractive, and I use it in all my art. I'll show you in simple steps how to get out of this image into this image. Before we start, it's important that you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. To start, let's create a group with the helps layers to help us understand the image. Now let's create two solid color layers. The first one will be for shadows and light in color blend mode, and the other will be to check the colors in luminosity blend mode. After that, let's make some adjustments to light, shadows, and colors using the camera raw filter on the background and the model. Then, we will merge the volumes and colors of the model with the background, using curves as the main tool and with the help of help layers, to balance them correctly. I used hue saturation on the model, to balance the colors a little more, and then, I used brightness and contrast on the background to blend it a little more. Now, let's create a new layer in normal blend mode. And with a native Photoshop brush, with a small size between 4 and 6 in thickness, we will paint some of the model's hair so that it blends a little more with the background. Remembering that I use a graphics tablet to facilitate this painting process, I recommend you do the same. Now comes the highlights part. We will create a curves layer and adjust it according to the light that is present in the scene in this case the sun behind the model, it is the main light of this scene. So we will create the light that get closer to the color that this light source brings. Then we use the blend if, so that the effect is not so strong on the model. Then using the same brush that we used on her hair previously, but with a greater thickness and a slightly smaller flow, we will invert the layer using the shortcut key, Control i and paint gently over the parts that the sunlight can hit. Now, let's create a dodge and burn using curves so that the model's face is a little more evident in the scene, always using the same brush. Let's bring a little more of these cold colors from the background to the model using curves, and then we will create a new layer in normal blend mode, create a little fog in front of the model. Now let's strengthen this highlight with a new layer in linear dodge blending mode. Use the color picker to pick a color related to the background sunset to paint on the new layer.
And finally, let's make some more light and shadow adjustments. Make some fog in the background, add some filters, and finish in camera raw. And that's the end result. I hope you learned something in this video. And if you liked it, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with your friends. I'll see you in the next video.